Hello guys, welcome to Online Web Tutor. I am Sanjay. We are learning WooCommerce theme development tutorial. This is our partner 45. Inside this video session guys, we are going to use and see that how can we customize CSS for our products panel. Now if I back to browser, so in the last video, this is our home page and inside this, we have added some panels for new arrivals as well as our popular products. Now let's say that if we want to customize the CSS of these products either let's say for this button, for this title or even if for this image. So how can we customize that? Because behind the scene, the same template is used inside this file or if we go inside this shop page. Now click on that, open it into a new tab. So here inside this, as we can see that we have a products grid. This is the another URL and here we have the products at the home page. So when we change the CSS or when we do any changes inside this layout, it is going to affect inside this page as well. So what is the way to do the CSS which is different inside this file or inside this file? If we go at the directory structure, now inside this, first of all, let's see that what is the common common template which is used for this product grid as well as for this product grid now back to our directory structure go inside wp content here we have a themes folder simple bootstrap theme and this is our woocommerce plugin which we have copied and pasted inside this this is because to override our template files of woocommerce now this is the file called content-product.php this is the common file which is shared inside this grid or inside this grid now if we go and I'm going to drag and drop this file to our VS Code editor and if we see inside this file then we have our ally tag and inside this we have several action hooks has been used now inside this template file, if we want to add something here, let's say if we want to pass something or attribute is something data ID and inside this, I am to pass let's say 101 as a sample ID I have passed to see that these changes is going to reflect at the front end or not. So if I reload this page and the same, I am to reload this swap page. Now if we inspect inside this product page means inside this product if you go inside this ally now as we can see that inside this we have data id attribute which contains the same value what we have passed inside the code now this is for this page now if we go here and click to inspect here go up and as we can see that the same layout or the same data id has been shared here also so question is that how can we customize that so for the perfect way we have several ways to customize these products separately along with these products separately so let's see that as we know that in the last video we have added some piece of sort codes to show these new arrivals as well as popularity so in that sort code we have also option to add a class now if we go inside this sort codes documentation scroll down now inside this this is a sort code what we have used and inside this we have passed something let's say limit columns and order by now also inside this our attributes list we have we can add a class as we can see here while passing this class this class will be reflected inside this products list only so let's see in action if i back to editor go to index.php scroll down here we have new arrivals now inside this let's say that class i'm to add new arrivals let's say custom class this is what we have added now if you go and reload this page inspect this product and if we go at the top of this ul 
and inside this div which is the main container of this wrapping of all the elements of this new arrivals now as we can see that our custom class has been added inside this div so taking this as the parent class we can actually change all the CSS for this child's of this UL and LI. If we go at this page and let's inspect one more time to see that that class also comes there or not. So as we can see here we have right now only a UL. Inside this UL there is no class what we have added inside this new arrival. So let's do some CSS. So what I will do if we go here and let's change the background color of this button to understand the things clearly and this is our anchor tag and inside this what I will do if we go and click on this add rule inside this add rule I am to add let's say background equal to orange this is the background color what we have added now what I will do if we click and copy all the CSS what we have written here these are the sibling classes now copy all the code go here press ctrl B open up called style.css again press ctrl B and let's say that this is new arrival changes and if we paste all the codes what we had done here this is margin top actually I think that this is not the code what we have done this is the code actually what we have done so copy and I will go and pasting it here so save this change go and reload this page now control F5 to hard reload and as we can see that now our CSS is working for this page so if we go inside this page as well click here to reload and as we can see that the CSS changes also now impacting inside this layout as well but remember we have an extra class to tell if you go inside this index.php copy the name of the class go to style.css and I am adding div and we have a class with this div something called new arrival custom class now if we save all these changes go and reload this page now there is no CSS what we have added inside this but if we reload this page now we have CSS applied remember this is for the new arrival so here also we can see that popularity section is also untouched so if we want to do something more CSS inside this popularity section simply we can give the CSS to this otherwise by applying CSS on this page it is going to affect this layout it is going to affect this layout means popularity section and also inside this page so it's better to actually apply a class by the help of that class actually we can customize that portion only so inside this video session guys we understood that how can we customize the CSS for our products panel so inside this video session guys if you went out then please drop your comment I'll give my reply as soon as possible. So for this video session guys, thank you for watching and have a great day.